Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Dark Spider-Man figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Marvel Universe line of products. Uh, this was part of a Greatest Battles comic two-pack that also featured Dark Wolverine. I picked this up at Walmart for $14.99. Okay, one of the biggest misconceptions I've heard about this figure is that it's black costume Spider-Man. It's not, as this is supposed to be Matt Gargan wearing the Venom symbiote when he was in the Dark Avengers group that was headed by Norman Osborn as the Iron Patriot. Okay, when I first got this figure out of its blister pack, I was immediately uh, quite impressed with him. This figure has been made quite nicely uh, with plenty of purplish highlights to offset the black color of the costume. I don't see any paint application errors on him either, but the white spider in the rear is a bit mismatched, which was a little disappointing. It should be noted that there were no accessories included with this figure. Now, normally I would lodge a small complaint about that, but uh, in this case, I don't have a problem with it. I think the figure is just fine without the accessories, and I think that including accessories with this particular figure would uh, take away from its presentation. The uh, other minor complaint that I do have about this figure is that it does have a tendency to slouch to the right just a little bit. But I've worked with the figure and I managed to get him to uh, stand up vertically. So as there were no accessories included with this figure, I'm going to go on ahead and do a quick 360 of it and let you see the detailing from all sides. All right, let me stop here for just a moment and show you the eye area. As you can clearly see here, this is the Venom eye pattern and not black costume Spider-Man's. Okay. okay, let me stop again and show you that this is where the mismatched white spider is that I was telling you about. Okay. All right, so overall, um, I am pleased with this figure. Uh, I think Hasbro has done a fairly nice job making it, and I really don't have any complaints about it aside from the occasional slouch to the right when he's being posed and the mismatched white spider on the rear. So uh, I feel that uh, I can recommend that you add this uh, Dark Avengers comic 2-pack to your collection uh, if you can find it in your local retail store or comic shop. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.